A common question in calculus is, how do we find the area under a curve? Well, to find the exact area, it involves something called a definite integral. But this video is all about how to approximate an area under a curve. And to do that, we're going to use rectangles. And those are called Riemann sums. So for our first question, it says, estimate the area under the curve f of x equals x squared plus 2, which is this function right here on the interval from 0 to 2 using a left Riemann sum. As soon as it says a Riemann sum, that means approximate the area using rectangles. And then it says with four equal subdivisions. We're going to talk about what a left Riemann sum is in just a minute. So the first thing I notice is it says four equal subdivisions. So between the interval 0 and 2, we want to split that into four rectangles. Well, to find the base of each rectangle, which we're going to call delta x, you can find that by taking b minus a, which will give you the entire length of your interval, and divide that by n, which is your number of subdivisions or your number of rectangles. In our problem, we have 2 minus 0 divided by 4, or when reduced, is 1 half. So that means each of my rectangles is going to have a base of 1 half. Now getting to the part where it says that we're finding a left Riemann sum. That means when we draw our rectangles, we're going to go up on the left side of the rectangle to connect it to the function. Let's see that. So I'm going to start here on the left side of my interval, and I know that the base is going to be 1 half. To draw my rectangle, I'm going to go up on the left side of the rectangle to connect it to my function right there. Let's take a look at rectangle number two. Again, here's the base of rectangle number two, but I'm going to go up on the left side of that rectangle to connect it to my function right there. My third rectangle, again, has a base of one half, and I go up on the left side of the rectangle to connect it there. And then finally, my fourth rectangle. Here is my base, and I go up on the left side of the rectangle to connect it, and so that right there is going to be the height of that fourth and final rectangle. All right, so now we're ready to calculate the area. Since this is a left Riemann sum with four equal subdivisions, I indicate the area by saying L with a subscript of four. So now, to add up these rectangles, it would be base times height plus base times height plus base times height and so forth. Now, I know each of those bases will be one half. So because each of them will include multiplying by one half, I'm actually going to factor that one half out. So my first rectangle will have an area of base of one half times a height, and that height would be f of zero. So I know the area of the first rectangle is one half times f of zero. Now for my second rectangle, well, I know the base would be one half, and then the height, since it's the left side of the rectangle, my height would be f of 1 half. All right, for my third rectangle, again, the base is 1 half, which we've, we've multiplied that because we factored it out in front. The height of that green rectangle right here is f of 1 because we went up on the left side. And our final rectangle has a base of 1 half, times a height of f of 1.5 or 3 over 2. So to calculate this area or to approximate this area under the curve using a left Riemann sum, I would simply plug, the, plug those x values into my f of x function, x squared plus 2, multiply that answer by 1 half, and my answer comes out to be 5.75. Now let's look at what would we do if it said write me Riemann sum. Well, this time it means when we draw our rectangles, let's say the first one has a base of 1 half, you may have already guessed it, I now go up on the right side of the rectangle to connect it right there and then go over. So these rectangles are going to look a little different when I draw them because when I connect on the right side and draw my rectangle, I'm actually going to be above the curve. That means the area that I'm finding right now is actually going to be actually more than the actual area. If you notice on the left one, or on the last one, sorry, on the last one, which was the left Riemann sum, those rectangles were under the curve. And so what that means is that area was actually an 
underestimation of what the actual area is. All right, so to find our right Riemann sum with four equal subdivisions, again, each one would have a base of one half. So I'm gonna go ahead and factor out that one half since it would apply to every single rectangle. The rectangle, our first rectangle has a height that was connected on the right side. So that would be a height of f of 1.5. Sorry, a height of f of 0.5, not 1.5. All right, for my red rectangle, its height occurred at f of 1, where its height is f of 1. My third rectangle, the height would be f of 1.5 or 3 over 2. And then lastly, because I connected the blue rectangle, again, all of them on the right side, my height would be f of 2. Again, plugging those into my function and calculating that, I would get 7.75, which as you see is larger than the answer that we got in the previous problem because again, these rectangles are above the curve. And finally, you may be asked to do the same thing but with a midpoint Riemann sum. In this case, the rectangles still have a base of 1 half, but I am imagining going up right in the middle right here and connecting that rectangle at the midpoint of that base of the rectangle. So again, here's the base of the rectangle. Go right up in the middle to connect it to the function there, which this one's going to require a little bit more thought to think of what those height of the rectangles would be. My third rectangle, again, go right up in the middle. That is where my height of my rectangle would be. And then finally, go right up in the middle. So this is your midpoint, your midpoint Riemann sum. All right, so to find the area or approximate the area under the curve using a midpoint Riemann sum, all bases are one half. The height of the first rectangle would be f of 0.5, sorry, 0.25, because it's right in between zero and a half. All right, right in the midpoint. My second one, let's see, would be right in the middle between 0.5 and 1, which is 0.75. My third rectangle, the height would be f of 1.25. And then lastly would be f of, what would that be, 1.75. You'll notice something, too, that from 0.25 to 0.75 to 1.25 to 1.75, that's still a difference of 1 half, just to point that out. All right, plugging these into the function and evaluating, we get 6.625 as my area of my midpoint Riemann sum. All right, if you found this video useful, make sure to click subscribe so that you're notified when new calculus videos come out. Thanks for watching.